Hi everyone, I am attempting to make a very cool cover design here in InDesign uh, for a brochure that I'm working on and I wanted to share with you how I did this because it took me forever to figure this out. This is pretty much uh, a pretty big challenge. So um, anyhow, this is my video to explain how to use the pen tool in InDesign to create contoured curved image placeholders. So uh, essentially what I did was I created, first I created a two circles using the uh, circle tool. So the ellipse tool. Uh, I created two circles. One of them I shaded this navy blue color. I filled it with the navy blue color. The other one I filled it with white. And then I arranged it so that the white was in front just by clicking um, arrange, bring to front and then I grouped them together. So what you see now is that these two are grouped. Then I put my product name here in a text box. Um, next, I created the same proportion size circle, which is what you see here on the outside. And what I did was I uh, created a border, a very thick 12 point frame around this ellipse in the navy blue color, and I left the inside blank. So I made it so that the fill was nothing. Then uh, I used the pen tool. So if you click here on the pen tool, what you can do right now, I'm going to, I've already done it with these two uh, images on the top and the bottom. I'm going to add a third image here to the middle. Obviously it's blank. So you can take the pen tool and start placing anchor points. And you do that just by clicking. And I'm doing this pretty finely to make sure that this is as precise as it can be. Um, when you get to the point, now the trick here is that you want, I want this to be a very straight line. So when you get over to this side, hold down your cursor until you see the green lines. That way you know that it's straight. Otherwise you're going to end up with a wonky curve. So. There you go, that's straight, and then take it all the way up, oops, all the way up to the top. Again, you want to be very precise and land inside of this border, otherwise, um, otherwise the image will bleed out. I'm sure there's a faster way to do this in Photoshop, but I wanted to work within InDesign, see if I could figure this out. Um, Quickly. So, and then once again, I'm going to hold down the mouse, make sure that that's a straight line, and that completes my um, contoured object. Now, with this selected, and I'm still on the pen tool, I'm actually going to go over to this brochure where I have an image that I, this is when I was playing around with this. So, I'm going to copy it. Come over here, and with this still selected, I'm going to go up to Edit and say Paste Into. Now, it's showing up way over here, and that's fine. I'm just going to right-click and say Fitting, Fill Frame Proportionally. And now I can just click off of that, and there you go. As you can see right now, this uh, you can see the jagged edges. So all I have to do now is select my circles. I'm going to hold down the shift button and select all the items and right click and say arrange bring to front and now if we look over here in preview mode you can see that it looks lovely um, so that is how you create an interesting circular cover design